so then the last choice is how do we handle archives? The obvious thing to do is just to create like an archive database. It can be a table or here. So new database, archive, delete these entries. I wish they wouldn't do that, but whatever, no major harm done. And let's change this layout to, no, that's pretty much it, we're good. So we'll add the icon, that's not it. We want filing cabinet, there we go, the big one. Okay, so now that we have archives, let's take a look. We have a project and let's say, oh, whatever, let's say this is done. So here it is. Now there's a few things we could do, we could make it. And by the way, we'll just rename this because this is by area. Right, because we could make a similar view by project, we could do it by owner, we could really do it by anything and some of the power of Notion. Now here, so I could either put this in done and I could do something that this is actually what I do typically. In my main view, I add a filter where the status is not done. I also often remove not started or I create a backlog kind of place where I hide things that I'm not planning to work on. So now anything we move into done disappears, which is nice because then our rows won't grow to be like a thousand feet each and it'll keep this view manageable. And of course you can always create another view where you are able to see everything, right? So this is one way to archive projects because they literally just disappear. Those are a little different, but we can use views and filtering to archive each item on its own. However, Another option is to use the archive database. And so Notion has this quirk, which is good in this situation. And honestly, in my opinion, not great in a lot of others. When I move this, oh, it didn't, yeah, no, it didn't do it. That's weird. Okay, so Notion often will move the properties to a new database. I'm not sure why it didn't right now, unless they actually just fixed that and I didn't know. But what happens when I open this? Yeah, I don't know, it lost all its properties. Okay, cool. So that's actually a bit of a downer. The thing I was hoping for is that it used to bring over all the properties. So even though it would create separate fields for the properties from projects and areas and resources, everything you brought over would maintain its original properties. Since that doesn't seem to be the case, I would push more in favor of in each view or each section, just creating some property that tells you if, the th if you need to see this item. So here in areas, for example, we could do archive question mark, right? Like that, I keep typing these things in too early. Eh? So let's do it as a checkbox though. It could also be a status archived checkbox. And then we have that. And all we need to do is filter our view so that archived is unchecked and then we're good. So Technically, that's how I would archive things rather than using the archive, but the para thing feels empty without the archive because then it's just par. So you can figure that out, but ultimately the archiving is happening anyways. So in summary, what we have here in Notion is a system that's very flexible that will give you quick access to write notes anytime you want, boom, done. I can type a note, so subscribe, give us a like and reach out or drop a comment if you have questions. Thank you for watching.